Hey, what's up everybody? This is Polio Jr. Welcome to another very simple video. And what we're doing today is changing out what is called a CMOS battery. Also called a 2032. Now, the best option here that I have found is getting a lithium battery. So basically the CMOS battery keeps track of the time and the bio settings if the computer does get unplugged or if the power goes out anything like that so if you've had a battery for a long time and the power goes out or you move the machine everything gets reset and you see that your time is now maybe uh, 1999 so and all your bio settings are screwed up so the first thing you want to check you can, you can see it right here is if you can actually get it with your fingernail so let me see here if I can so next I would probably say something uh, you know maybe a little bit less sharp but um, I actually have a dulled uh, knife here which I should be able to just pry out here there we go. And there we go. And there should only be one in here. Sometimes there's two. But yeah. There's only the one. CR20. CR2032. So now what I'm doing is rep replacing it with a lithium battery. And in this case, um, for the length of your computer you will never, you should never have to actually change the CMOS battery ever again. So, remember it is a 2032. Yes, you can buy a regular one and yes, you'll probably be fine. But, um, there is absolutely no harm in getting a lithium battery. So, now that we have the new 2032 uh, lithium battery if you can see it hopefully probably not um, it's literally just popping it back in there that's it there you go so when you do that and obviously um, you know uh, you should have everything unplugged you know especially the power cord you should have the power cord unplugged in the back like I do um, but if you forget, don't worry about it. It's not that serious. It's not going to be that big of a deal. So, um, what you want to do is go into the BIOS and reset the time and make sure all of your settings are exactly how they're supposed to be. So, yeah, that's it. That's how you replace a CMOS battery. And with the lithium battery, uh, you'll probably never have to change it again. So, thank you guys for watching. See you next one. Bye-bye.